Hello guys and welcome back to the Moki Moki channel. Welcome back guys, long time no see. I'm Moki Moki's girlfriend, we know each other. Um, we opened some booster boxes, some old school booster boxes. Maybe you remember, if not, you have to watch this video. Um, but after you watch this one. Alright. Today I will show you my golden gold control deck. Yeah, so this deck has been played on Obelisk Blue uh, in the tournament and it reached third place, so it almost got qualified for Gold Format Worlds 2 2021. It was very close and it was a very, very nice run from you. I'm very proud of you. And um, hopefully you guys will enjoy the deck profile. Of course, if you enjoy this, leave a like, leave a sub. It helps us tremendously. And um, you will see soon, guys, I will post a special video that will require um, more subs from you. We can see that about 75% of guys that still come back for each video don't subscribe. So please leave that sub. It helps us so much. So right now, let's jump into this amazing deck from my girlfriend and let's see how she terrified a big player base and how she almost got qualified for Worlds 2021. Thanks! So, we start with a gold rare BLS. Um, you might notice I have a lot of gold rare, um, because I like gold rare. So, pretty standard, best card in gold control. Um, so, next I play one Chaos Sorcerer. That is quite interesting. So, usually people would decide to play Chaos Sorcerer and more than one Chaos Sorcerer in Chaos Control. But you're playing a Gold Control deck and you're playing one Chaos Sorcerer, that's very weird. Why do you do that? Well, to put some pressure on my opponent, of course, because it, uh, we can banish some more stuff. So you just want to have one more option to banish something? Oh, yes. Okay. Next, we play a Breaker. Sure. Hmm, pretty standard. Then um, I play two Kaikus. Two Kaikus. Well, they are meta call out. And um, against Reason Gate and Chaos Turbo. That's pretty interesting and very aggressive. <laughs> yes, I like to play aggressive. It's unusual for Chaos, uh, for, for, not for Chaos, but for God Control. Well, you will notice later why I do like that. Um, next, I have my Warrior Engine. Um, it uh, has the. Can you help me out? Blade Knight. Blade Knight, the Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke, Don Zaluk and Didi Warrior Lady. Yeah, sure. They are very flexible and easy to get out. And um, I like to put quick pressure on my opponent. Yeah, I see. So this is basically a swift army knife and you just got inspiration from, from the uh, lately uh, Chaos Warrior builds I see so you mi quite so you're mixing a build that has some aggression an aggressive chaos um, Goat control build with warriors so to have a very aggressive and flexible build to react to a lot of stuff exactly um, Next we have tribe infecting virus sure sinister serpent Yeah, yeah why not <laughs> why not um, a sangan one Tsukiyomi. So only one Tsukiyomi. That's only all. one Tsukiyomi. Okay. Um, I play two Magician of Faith. It's the only one. Oh, okay. sorry. No, it's, two. <laughs> it's two. And I play two Magical Merchants. Okay, so two Magical Merchants because they just work as a level one, as Metamorphosis. And yeah, okay, yeah. That's yes. Totally fine. You got it. Oh. So, next we do the spells. We start with Trinity, of course. We start with Trinity. Standard. Standard. Then, Heavy Storm, um, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Lightning Vortex. So, why do you play Lightning Vortex? Because Lightning Vortex is very good to clear goats or big boards. 
So it's basically uh, to get rid of anything that you want to get rid of. Exactly. Okay. Then I play one Snatch Steel. Um, one Premature Burial. Okay. Two Book of Moon. Sure. And then we come to my, my goat um, engine. We have three goats, two Metamorphoses. Okay. And then we do have enemy control, creature swap, and one card that um, surprised uh, many of my opponents, United We Stand. <laughs> I love it. That's a quite spicy card. Yes. So, how did that work out for you? Pretty good. Um, well, sometimes I have it at the beginning on my hand, then it's not so good. But if I have it in middle or late game, uh, usually I win the game. Yeah. Drawing this card lets you win the game. Okay. <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> right. Traps. Traps. Well, pretty standard. Uh, one ring. One call of the haunted. Uh, one tr uh, tribute. Torrential tribute. Torrential yeah. tribute. One mirror force. And one Sakuretsu oh. armor. <laughs> To have some protection and to stop aggression against me. Very good, nice build. Yes, and now we come to the twist. To the twist. To the twist. Why you won games? You mean like you you screwed people over? <laughs> yes, why I screwed people over. So with the help of my side deck, I build a complete new deck. Um, I... So you mean you change your deck when side decking? Yes. Alright. Exactly. Um... What do you mean by that? Well, I change uh, from gold control deck to a deck with a warrior toolbox. Um, it's pretty... So you mean you changed from a gold control deck to a whole warrior deck, to only warrior chaos warrior? Exactly. Okay. So we start with three solemn judgments. Well, um, to stop any aggression that and uh, to negate anything that I don't like. Then I have two dust tornadoes, um, which I don't side every time, but sometimes. Then I have two sakuretsus to stop the aggression. Um, ta two reinforcements of the army. Well, of course, I told you I play warrior toolbox, so this is pretty good. And um, now we come to my warrior toolbox. Um, we have Didi assailant. Didi assailant. We have exile forces, and we have the mystical swordsman level two. And in addition, of course. My one of my favorite cards, one more Kaiku. Well, why not? Yeah, he's not a warrior, but he's an aggressive spellcaster and he, he puts out pressure against any chaos deck, so yeah. And um, in my side deck, I have additionally two uh, compulsory devices. Compulsory excavation Com devices. Yeah, my English. Uh, which I don't side every time, but sometimes. So basically, you are trying when you when you're siding, you're basically siding to an, a very aggressive uh, chaos warrior build that is also negating everything that you don't want against you. That pushes through the back row with with um, with dust tornadoes and that puts out a lot of big monsters against you opponent while they are basically siding against goat control. Exactly. And I have to say this is the most beautiful gold rarity form I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> so we we can clearly see my girlfriend has a gold fetish but I'm sorry guys I couldn't I couldn't change that. It's it's how she likes the cards. But yeah, I think this is a very interesting deck. It's amazing uh, how well you played this and um, how far you got. So people really, really went for it because people 
uh, really sided. I saw these games uh, really sided against goals, and she just went totally ham because when people side against goats they expect a deck that is more um, lenient back and more yeah not as ag aggressive and she just went on full rampage on them then and even when people side side for um, then a, a back for an aggressive deck against them she can change back to gold control or she can basically stay aggressive and because Free Sakuretsu armors and free um, free Solemn Judgments and free Dust Tornadoes is also quite a good uh, good matchup against also another um, Warrior deck because she played against those Warrior decks a lot of times it was very popular so um, this also worked quite well for her because these are the cards that also beat Warriors very very easy. And now I think she would just put out her cards as... Yes, as always. But I will start over here. Do a little bit faster, don't... Yeah, I'm sorry. I... So we can wrap up this video and say goodbye to our fellow friends online. Sure, sorry. I started the wrong way around. But yeah. now I will be faster. I know. Um, yeah guys, so again, if you really like this video, if you enjoy, enjoy our content, please leave a like, leave a sub, um, shout out to uh, our gold format discord server for hosting these tournaments, um, for making people able to um, be playing uh, maybe gold format worlds and um, yeah, this has been a very nice experience also for my girlfriend I think. Yes. Right. Alright, so that's it guys. Moki Moki and Moki Moki's girlfriend, peace out. Bye bye. Bye.